Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a different sort of style video where I wanted to share with you guys all of my beauty hacks that I have. I'm sorry if I seem a bit sweaty. I am, it's so hot in here. I've had to shut my windows because it's so noisy and we've got some works going on in my house, so bear with the noise if you do hear any. So yeah, if you'd like to see my beauty hacks that I have. Okay. Like I was saying, if you'd like to see the beauty hacks that I have, then please keep watching. So the first hack that I have is a hack that I use a lot. Now it may seem quite obvious, but I have only recently discovered this product. Now we all go through stages in the year when we get more tanned or more paler, obviously because of the different seasons. Now, obviously it changes your foundation and I know it can be a pain to keep buying different foundation colors to match your skin tones because for me as well, my skin tone changes all the time. It's so annoying. I have so many foundations and I still can't find the correct color for my skin tone right now anyway because it's sort of a contrast right now for me. I'm getting a bit, bit of a tan, but I'm not like tanned, but I'm not pale like my old foundation. So it's a bit of a contrast. So what I like to use is my normal foundation mixed with a white foundation. A white foundation, this is white. This foundation I think is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. So what I like to do is mix these two together. Literally you need the tiniest bit and that will give you the correct skin color for what you need. Now I use a foundation instead of a moisturizer um, because it still gives you the full coverage as the foundation would. If you don't like full coverage or medium to full coverage, then I would recommend using a moisturizer because it does exactly the same thing. It just sort of dilutes it a little bit, brings the color down, um, so yeah. Hack number two. This next hack, I've only recently been using this product because I randomly just found it in Superdrug one day and I cannot live without it when I curl my hair. Now, I have got very long hair, but as I'm getting older, I think because I straighten it and it is quite damaged, sad to say, I am losing a bit of volume in my roots. So when I curl it, it sometimes goes flat and it just looks awful. So I have been using two products randomly. I mean, you could use them together, but your hair would probably be like out here. It is just simple volume spray, or you can use volume powder. They're basically the same thing. Um, I prefer the spray because it is a what or <laughs> What am I trying to say? It is a lot easier and a lot quicker to use than the powder, but I find that the powder can be more volumizing at times as well. So I don't know, it's up to you which one you use. But I bought these both from Superdrug and I have been loving them, especially this one because it's a spray. It's sort of like using volumizing dry shampoo. It does the same thing, but it's just got a bit more volume and it really gets to the roots. And I honestly cannot live without it. So just thought I would share that with you because it's such a simple thing but it's so effective and I can't believe I haven't used this before. Hack number three. Because the weather is getting really hot, it is turning from spring to summer really, really quickly. And sometimes you want more of a dewy foundation look or just to look naturally glowy. A thing that I like to do is apply some pigment illuminator drops into my foundation. This gives your skin a natural glow without looking too fake. And it's not like you can tell that someone's put highlighter on. It's sort of like, oh, you look quite dewy. You look really nice. If you've got more oily skin, then you might not need as many drops. But if you've got dry skin or even just normal skin, then um, I think you would love this. But if you've got oily skin, don't use too much because you're probably naturally glowy anyway. Um, so yeah, this is just a hack that I love to do. Um, the illuminators that I've got are both from Iconic London. I use this one, which is the original. I feel like it goes well with my skin tone and I just love the color of it. I feel like it's perfect for a highlighter. If you are more fair or if you just want more of a glow, I feel like this one would be perfect for you. And it is in the shade Shine, because you will shine a lot. <laughs> so I love both of these. I will leave everything that I've used in the description below, like always, but I just wanted to share these with you. Hack number four. Say if you have a busy day and you've forgotten your makeup or like powder or if you just don't want to powder and you just want to get rid of the shine, then I would recommend using Lottie, Lottie, 
She's trying to get my shopping bags. No, because you'll rip them up. No. Did you want to come and say hi to everybody? <laughs> okay, she likes licking off my lipstick. Love you. Go and play. Like I was saying, if, you, if you're out and you don't want a powder or if you don't have any powder with you but you just want to get rid of your shine, then I would recommend buying oil pads or blotting pads. These are called oil blotting pads from BH Cosmetics. Basically, all you do is it looks like paper and you take it out and you literally blot on your face where you are most oily. For me, it's just my nose area. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I know it looks really gross, but it takes away all the oils on your skin, the excess oils that you don't need. And it's just literally these blotting pads. You can get them from Boo Avenue. I like those ones as well. But these ones are just from BH. You can literally search them online. There's so many, or you can use tissue. What I've seen people do is get a piece of tissue, rip it in half and then use it. But I, I don't know, I've never tried that. It might work, but um, I would recommend just using actual blotting oil pads because they're really easy, compact. You can put them in your bag at all times. And then if you just wanna quickly get rid of your shine, then use these and it soaks up all of the excess oil on your skin. Oh my God, that's so gross. But it's really satisfying at the same time. <laughs> Hack number five. Say if one of your eyeshadow palettes or any palettes that is really powdery cracks and breaks, I know it's really heartbreaking, then a really good hack that I like to do is you can either use alcohol, but I find that it really smells if you do that. Um, I just like to use setting spray. Oh, this one's leaking a little bit. I just like to use setting spray and all you have to do is with the broken pigment, put a couple of drops of the setting spray and then you get a little brush, mix it together slowly, add more setting spray, mix it up until you're working with like a paste and then all you need to do is leave it to dry and then it's literally brand new. So if you go somewhere, I know a lot of traveling um, breaks makeup because that's happened to me about a hundred times like highlighter palettes and all of that and it's just really sad um, if you bring a setting spray with you all you do is mix it with the cracked eyeshadow or blush or highlighter whatever it is that's cracked get a little brush mix it together work with a paste and then it literally will be good to go you need to wait for it to dry but I find that it makes it even more pigmented because you're using a setting spray as well with it because anyway yeah that's what I like to do so, yeah. Hack number six. I don't wear a lot of powder, not powder, pencil eyeliner, that's what it is, um, because I don't really do it underneath my waterline. If I do wear eyeliner, it's always liquid, or I use eyeshadow. But this is for you guys that do use pencil eyeliner, because I know a lot of people do. Um, and I sometimes do it with lip liners or anything that's like that, um, because it works for both. And that is, all you have to do is get a lighter. If you are under the age of, what is it, 18 or 16? If you're too young to use a lighter, then get your parents to do it for you because I don't want to be in trouble if you do use a lighter. So make sure if you are under the age of, that you're not, I don't know what the age is, that you're not allowed to use a lighter. If you're young, don't use a lighter. Let your parents do this one. Um, but anyway, all you have to do is light the lighter or a candle. You could do it in front of a candle, actually. Um, and all you have to do is literally for a second put your eyeliner under it and out and it will make it so pigmented and it will last a lot longer hack number seven we all have our favorite lip gloss or lipstick that isn't a matte what i like to do is make it into a matte lipstick because for me i find that they last a lot longer i'm going to apply this lip gloss I so haven't done that neat, but you get the idea of what I'm about to do. And then all I'm gonna do is grab my translucent powder, which I should do upside down. Uh, pop my brush inside it. This works in baby steps. Don't do it all at once because you're gonna get a clump of powder. Literally tap as much off. And all you're gonna do is dot it over the top and it will turn matte. It's really, really cool. As you can see, it's literally matte. Hack number eight, I think. Hack number eight. This is something that I like to do a lot, especially with, now this is just a regular 
um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going, I'm going to I'm going to just swatch this last one for you onto my arm. Now you can see that it is a lot lighter than what it's showing in the palette. It's the last one. It is pigmented, don't get me wrong, but it is a lot, lot less pigmented than what I thought it should be. So what I like to do with colours like this, because I find that they are hard to show pigment, like I was saying, what I do personally, if the pigment isn't that much, all you need is a setting spray, and don't fling it in your eye. Oh, All you need is a setting spray. You're going to spray both sides of your brush. You would have seen me do this a lot in my YouTube videos because I do this a lot. And the difference is incre like, it's incredible. Just wait. You can see that the color actually shows how it's meant to be. I know it doesn't look that much of a difference, but up close, it's faded from here to here this is literally the same and you can see the sparkles in the actual colour as well and it's just a lot more pigmented and I find that it stays longer and it doesn't fall down as more. I don't get as much fallout which is what I love. Hack number nine I have for you guys. I'm just losing count. My next hack which I think a lot of you guys might have heard about before. If not then I'm happy to help. But basically it's quite an obvious one. If you use moisturiser before applying your perfume, it will make it last longer. This is because oily complexions basically make perfume last longer or scent last longer. So it's best to moisturise before because if you have got quite dry skin, oh, then you will definitely need to do this because you might find that perfume doesn't last as longer. But if you use moisturiser beforehand, it will help you throughout the day. It will last longer. So I mainly put it here on my skin and then I sort of just spray it around here. So I'm not going to apply any here because um, actually I can do. I'm going to. <laughs> this moisturiser smells so good anyway. It's this Dove one and I'm obsessed. I've literally had it for so long. It reminds me of summer. It's like my summer moisturiser. I love it. Anyway, all you will need to do now is after you have moisturised and it's gone a little bit into your skin and it's a little bit tacky, just... Spray a couple sprays, mix it around and it will last, don't eat it. You'll find that your perfume genuinely does last a lot longer and it's more like intense. <laughs> hack number 10, which is my last hack. Now this is a very obvious one as well, but some of you it might help, which is why I'm showing you. And it's something that I do daily. So I thought I would share it with you. And it's basically just for my hair. I have got quite dry hair, so I use a lot of hair masks throughout the week. Probably at least two a week I use because my hair is dry and the dead ends are awful. And for it to be healthy again, I'd probably have to cut it up to here. So I have to keep on top of my hair because I use a lot of heat on it and all that kind of stuff, which is really annoying. Um, but anyway, for when it is dry or when I'm drying it and I still want it to look quite healthy after I've used my hair mask, I like to use these two products. Now, I'm sure if you're not from England, or if you can't get a hold of this, you might be able to get it online, actually. You can probably get it off Amazon, that wouldn't surprise me, or eBay. Um, it's basically just Argan Oil Heat Defense Spray. So I use this before I blow dry or curl or straighten my hair, um, because it is heat defense spray. And I like to use this, which is from Aussie, and it's the Miracle Hair Insurance Conditioning Spray. First of all, they both smell amazing. So it literally is like a win-win. And secondly, it just helps keep my hair quite healthy. And I feel like when I don't use them, my hair is so dry and literally the ends are like, pfft. do you know what I mean? So when I do use them, I feel like my hair is a lot healthier and, and it looks a lot shinier as well. And I just, gen I cannot do my hair without these products. So they're literally a holy grail product for me that I thought I would share them with you because it is, it's not really a hack. I mean, it kind of is. Um, I just use them after I have wet hair, basically, like towel dry hair, put these in, then blow dry, curl whatever your hair and you're literally good to go. Thank you, Bambi, for barking. <laughs> 
So everyone, this is the end of the video. I hope it has helped you in any way. I know some of the hacks might be quite obvious, but they're just day-to-day -day hacks that I love to do and I just wanted to share them with you guys because I feel like it might help you. Even if it helps one person, then I've still helped you. Also, a lot of you were asking if anyone won the giveaway, the 300K giveaway, and someone did. I did tweet it and I put it on my Instagram story. So that giveaway is closed now, but don't worry because I'm gonna do some more giveaways on my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm gonna do like linked um, giveaways on both of those because I love talking to you guys on both of them and especially Twitter. So I feel like we can have proper one-on-one -on -one conversations and I just love chatting to you guys. So yeah, I will be doing some giveaways probably in the next couple of days on my Instagram and Twitter. They're always linked together. Oh, nearly broke my light then. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing it on those. So anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope it's helped you in any way. Please like this video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I can't believe how fast we're growing already and we've just hit 300k. Oh my God, it's amazing. I literally can't believe it. It's insane oh my god and I'd love to do some meet and greets with you guys and just meet a lot of you because that'd be so cool I love I don't know I just feel like I'd love to meet you in person because I feel like I see a lot of you online but I'm like I want to give you a cuddle and just oh. <laughs> so anyway thank you for watching again and I will see beauties in my next video bye